We're recording. Okay. All right. Happy Monday. Um, I would like to remind everybody to have a, uh, a water vessel with them at all times. Uh, try to start your day with water and um, drink it throughout your day. So half your body weight in ounces for a resting body and uh, you can add 10 ounces maybe for every uh, activity uh, that you're doing or have done. Um, today's Jim's birthday. We're shooting, it's Sunday, but this video is for, uh, is for Monday. So happy birthday, Jen. Um, cool, we'll get right into it. Uh, to start with our breath work, you're going to be doing five to ten rounds of a really short, shallow, one second inhale. It's kind of like this. And then about like a two to three count kind of quick push too. Uh, I don't really want to put numbers on it. I just want you to have kind of a cadence. Uh, so it's going to be ten reps of that breath. And after your 10 reps, you're going to take three normal breaths. Whatever that kind of is for you, just try to relax. You're going to breathe in your nose, and out your mouth. And after your three, you're going to do one more full breath, and then you're going to exhale, and you're going to hold the exhale. And then you're going to hold that exhale until you feel the urge to breathe again. Um, I don't want you to like really push too deep into the urge. Just as soon as you feel like, all right, it's time for me to breathe again, I want you to take one more relaxed breath and then go right back into your set of 10. So we'll do one set uh, together. Ready? All right, go. Shaking, 
Um, I want you to get into more single leg hops. If you want to switch pretty like quickly, like two on one, three on one, or something like that. But spend about another minute dividing those single leg hops up uh, between each side. Um, next up, we have our handstand kick up or just our like glute kick. Um, so you could remain like just in a pipe position and stay on the ground. Or if you'd like to do the scissor kick and just get, get some inversion time. Um, that always feels really nice to me, warms my wrist up. I like, I like getting upside down, doing things to um, Next up, three rounder, 10 groiners, plus a twist, plus a pyramid, uh, bootstrap plus the breath and 90-90 hips. So the groiner is that runner's lunge into a twist, pushing that knee back. Pushing that knee back. All right, and then we have bootstrap plus breath. Your breath in this, uh, I want you breathing out on the way down and in on the way up. And you try to time your breath up to the movement. So as soon as you finish uh, your inhale, you should be finishing the extension of your legs. And as soon as you finish your exhale, you should be reaching the bottom of that uh, squat. And then your 90-90 hip, internal external rotations, you're going to be in a kind of a wide sumo stance, 90-90 with the knees. Uh, if you need to put your hands down or back behind you to do this, just make sure you keep the 90-90. I would like for you to get nice and upright. Three rounds of that. Now we're going into our strength portion. It's uh, three to five sets of eight to 12 reps of a Bulgarian split squat. Uh, so that's per side, and then um, you're also going to be supersetting that with hamstring curls. And we're going to show a couple different variations for both of these movements uh, that you guys can do. So uh, you can also have the option of accumulating 30 to 50 reps of some sort of like front-loaded um, squat. So that can be done with a wall ball. Um, the cadence on this is a three-second lower a one second pause, and just good speed on the way up. And like I said, accumulate 30 to 50 reps of that. You can use a sandbag. You could, you could. Uh, I guess we're going to go front, so I want everyone front loaded with it. Um, three seconds down, stay nice and tall. One second pause, speed on the way up. There's no, there's no tempo for the split squats, the Bulgarian split squats. Um, you're going to be about three, two and a half paces away from whatever bench, chair, uh, object that you're going to use to elevate your foot. Uh, you could just do these on air. You could use, you could use your wall ball. Um, you could shoulder it. You could front back it. Um, you could use a plate. You could use your Dumbbells or kettlebells, you can hold them to your side, you can hold it in the front rack, uh, you could even go overhead if you'd like to. Um, so, with that, feel, feel your weight evenly distributed out throughout your foot. You don't want to just feel the heel or just feel the toes. You want to try to feel weightless on your foot because all of your foot is, is making contact with the floor. We're pulling that belly button up and back, the chest is staying tall. Nice and smooth on the way down, good speed on the way up. Your superset and your hamstring curl, so that's just as many sets as you're doing as the single leg squats, and just as many reps. So three to five sets, eight to 12 reps. You could do these with a partner, um, doing manual resistance hamstring curls. Um, how you'll do that is by pulling back against uh, the, the curler. Uh, I guess you get some like some 
arm curl here too. So you can do one leg at a time, and they're trying to keep their heel close to their butt, um, and I'm trying to pull their heel away from their body. But you want to work together on this and maintain a good tempo. So I'm not trying to necessarily keep her from being able to curl back up. Um, and we're just working together to create a little bit of tension in the hamstring as we move dynamically through the curl. You can do both legs at the same time, or um, you could do, do this with a band or with, with nothing. Um, you can simply do the curl as if someone is pulling on your hamstring and you just create your own tension and run through run through 8 to 12 reps just like that. I promise if you focus and do that, you'll be just as sore doing either of these other drills. Yeah. It's a hook, foot. Um, like I said, you can also do this banded. Um, I would, uh, I would actually, I would do this single leg and do, do eight to twelve reps per side. Uh, if you're new to it, you're more than welcome to do both, uh, both of them in there and do eight to twelve. But just to get a good hamstring workout, you might, you can, you can go single leg just like the squats. Cool. That's it for the strength work. The metcon. Your conditioning today. I'm always going to be listing a like an AMRAP and a EMOM. So if 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 a family is like sharing equipment, uh, you guys want to make stations. Uh, all those options will will always be available to you. So four rounds, four times. It starts with a one minute wall sit. Uh, you can just get your get your watch started um, and. Just sit there and hang out for one minute. Uh, after your one minute wall sit, you're gonna go into 50 glute bridges. Um, I want these glute bridges fast, uh, but I also want them to be as extended as possible. So make sure you're getting your hips up as high as possible. If you want to put your heels up on a chair, that'll get the hamstrings a little bit more and create a little bit more range of motion in the hip if you prefer to do it like that. After your uh, glute bridges, you have 40 sit-ups. Um, you can do the pregnancy style sit-ups. You can do uh, legs straight. You can do V-ups. You can do alternating toe touches. Uh, you can do bicycle kicks. I feel like we're on an infomercial. <laughs> um, yeah, so something like that. Uh, then we have, I believe, 30 uh, alternating dumbbell squat cleans. Um, some other options are listed in here. You could use a kettlebell, a wall ball, a plate. We'll kind of show you what some of those things look like. Your alternating dumbbell squat clean. All these are, are same kind of in principle. We're going, we're going into a hinge, we're, we're going into a pull, and then a nice tall squat. So we can do these with the dumbbell. We can go squat cleans with the wall ball. You could do a hang variation with a kettlebell. And you could also do a plate variation. Nice. Cool. 30 reps there. You're repeating that four times, four times. Uh, the Iman version is the exact same kind of flow and movements, but it would be one minute wall set, 50 second glute bridge, max glute bridge. You'll get 10 seconds of rest to transition until your next minute, where you'll do 40 seconds of max sit ups and then you'll get 20 seconds of rest until your next minute. And then you'll do 30 reps max, alternating dumbbell squat clean, 
wall ball, plate, whatever you can find, children, um, to do your max squat clean. Um, and you're going to do three to five rounds of that. If you need to add another minute to this for additional rest, feel free to do that. Cash out. We have three rounds of 15 front, front leaning rest. Uh, so in a front leaning rest, Jay, push up position. I guess you could probably go from the plank. And you're just kind of rocking forward, taking your knee to your elbow. There might be some sort of... For those who have elbow problems? You could totally go down in the, uh, the plank position as well. And a living fit has a hard time sometimes with those holes with your elbows, so if you need to go into um, plank. plank, go ahead. Yeah. Um, side leg raise. If you, uh, if you want to kick this up a notch and go into a bridge, I'm also uh, a big fan of like clams too. Um, so some sort of yeah, uh, medial glute activity here. Um, if you wanted to go do like maybe a bunch of monster walks or something like that, I'd, I'd find that fun as well. Side bridge, leg raise. Um, and then quad stretch. You can do this standing uh, and holding something. Uh, you don't even have to hold something. Yeah, you can be one, one back. You can go both, both back and just kind of sit into it. You can even use a wall ball to kind of hold you a little bit, work yourself back a little further. Cool. Three rounds of that for the crash out. And then uh, your cool down is a body zone relaxation. It's a lot like our kind of um, uh, those rebounds that we'll do at the end of like a, uh, um, a little yoga flow or any, uh, any rod wide material. Uh, we'll oftentimes take that like one to two minutes to just rebound. Um, with this, uh, I want you to be like picturing your body, imagining the shape of your body, and I want you to kind of uh, divide it up into zones. So for this, we'll we'll just all even just freestyle and make up the zones. They're pretty apparent and like easy to recognize. But I want you to just picture picture your body. And you're gonna start with zone one. All right, zone one's gonna be the head, and I want you to see that body literally broken up into into maybe seven segments or or seven different colors. I like to envision like the rainbow, uh, Roy G. Viv. Um, so we can start with maybe the color blue um, or I guess violet, uh, Viv, V-I-V. Yeah, um, picture violet in our head. We're, we're visualizing the actual shape of our head and we're thinking of that as like being zone one. We're relaxing zone one. So your eyes just make it kind of Kind of soft. You, you don't feel like you're tense through through your cheeks or you're making any frowning face, but literally relaxing your face, relaxing your ears, your neck, your jaw. You feel everything just kind of soften. And once you literally feel kind of the relief, you've gone around your head and you've gone uh, top to bottom. You've kind of done a scan and you've taken everything on like a little, little checklist uh, adventure where it just kind of softens up. You can move maybe down to your neck and your throat, and then your shoulders. This maybe is like kind of your zone, maybe your zone two area. If you want to do like imagine another color like, like indigo, um, and feeling, feeling all that. Your breath softens. The sides of your neck soften. The back of your neck, you feel like your head kind of fall maybe further down into the ground. Um, and then move down to our next zone, maybe like kind of the pecs and the, the ribs here, and maybe like our diaphragm, and you just feel again, everything soften and kind of fall down, and you take, you take everything uh, around the circumference and from top to bottom through a little checklist, and then you relax that area. 
and then maybe we get to like our belly button, our, our, our core, our abdomen. Um, we just feel the belly button start to kind of fall to the ground a little bit. Maybe we tie in the hips to that as well. You feel like we did a lot of uh, a lot of stuff with our hamstring or with our quadriceps and our hip flexors. So making sure you feel those, just kind of uh, just release a little bit. Um, let them know that they did a great job today, uh, and you're doing your best right now to help them heal and recover. Um, send loving, loving attention to your body everywhere. I, I often I've found recently that when I when I exhale the word compassion, um, I exhale into that word. I find my body just kind of I find everything just kind of releases a little bit more. So you're working this all the way down through the knees, the calves, the ankles, and the feet. Uh, and once you've worked your way down uh, that rainbow-colored zone man or woman uh, that you visualize. Um, just maybe give yourself a little smile, uh, set a little attention for what you'd like the rest of your day to look like, and um, yeah, yeah. I, I think that was it. Uh, did you actually do it at all? Wow. Mm -hmm. You feel good? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, I love you so much. Um, cool. So, happy Monday, guys. We love you all. We miss you. We're still talking about some like fun fun ways that we can uh, make this a little bit more social and we might get into some of the live stuff. We're also going to be streaming some, um, some like cooking style shows. We're going to be doing some live tie-dye. We're going to be doing uh, some, I think, some homework uh, tonight, maybe with some more meditation um, and some meal prep, uh, getting some food together. But yeah, we'll be sending all that. put a Facebook group together of all the members um, that we have. So a lot of us probably could be sharing that with people if we're not friends with certain ones, but um, Jason is creating a Facebook page today, and that will be up and running so we all can still talk a little snap to each other, share each other's um, photos and activities that we'll be releasing tomorrow. Cool. Um, anything else? Any more updates? It's nice to have you here. You're like a little calendar, a little walking yeah. loving calendar. Um, Cool guys, uh, remember water, water, water. Uh, make sure it's filtered. Uh, you can add some like, Celtic salt to that to get some minerals and electrolytes. Uh, make sure you're sleeping well. Uh, again, we'll talk more about some of these lifestyle things that can improve um, the state in which you're in. And just make sure everybody is healthy and, um, and feels safe and, and covered in love right now. So, um, I have a trick. You got a trick? Yeah, I have a trick. Okay. That's really impressive. Thanks. That's very nice. Cool. <laughs> Love you guys.